Hello guys, welcome to a new video. This is going to be a week of dinner ideas video. If you decide to make any of these yourself, I always love when you guys tag me on your stories or send me photos in the DMs. Yeah, we, these are just, we eating good around here. These are good meals. If you guys like seeing these recipe videos, also be sure to let me know in the comments. I'm just gonna hop right in with what we may be eating tonight or possibly um, tomorrow night. So this is gonna be part one of the meal. And it's going to be a delicious Mediterranean bowl with a homemade tzatziki. We're having a little couscous Greek salad in there or Mediterranean salad. You Greeks roast me when I love to refer to something as Greek. It's going to have a delicious flavorful chicken. I also think I'm gonna add in some oven roasted chickpeas for the first time. What I'm doing right now to prep in advance is two things. Um, number one for the homemade tzatziki. Side note, if you're wanting to save time, you could absolutely just buy a store-bought tzatziki. But since I'm making my own, I'm gonna be grating and straining the water out of um, my cucumber. I just got a big guy. So all I'm gonna do is grate it into this little like pasta strainer and keep it over a bowl to catch all of the water. And I'm gonna leave this overnight. I have done this just like morning of. You can even do this like right as you're cooking if you just go in with a lot of like paper towels and really like squeeze out the moisture or if you have a cheesecloth, that is great. And secondly, I'm gonna be marinating my chicken. Again, you can totally just mix all of this stuff up um, in your bowl right as you're about to cook it. Marinating actually makes no sense to me. Like this is a solid item. So how are things like absorbing into it? It doesn't make sense. I'm gonna get started and I will walk you through what I'm adding to the chicken especially. it for the chicken marinade. Really what I want to convey in this video is just like not to be afraid of cooking. Like I don't even know, why did I put honey in this? Why did I put lemon in it? I have no idea. I just play around with it and things generally turn out tasting so good. Just don't be afraid of messing things up. So this is going to go in the fridge overnight. Um, same for my cucumber and I'll be back tomorrow. All right, it is now the next day. The chicken has been marinating. The cucumber is nice and dried out. I'm gonna dump the rest of this cucumber water. You can drink it if you want to. So everything I'm gonna be making now is um, the homemade tzatziki. We're gonna be making a little Greek salad. Very simple. I have just tomatoes, cucumbers, um, a little green pepper that's looking a little wilty, but will be just fine. Some red onion, I'm gonna make a little vinaigrette sauce for that part. Oh, I'm gonna make couscous to throw in with that as well. These are gonna be like bowls, so, you know, it can be tossed in anywhere, but I was just feeling like couscous would be fun. I'm gonna roast up some chickpeas on a little sheet pan. Um, Giselle just ran out to get some feta also for the Greek salad, and she's gonna grill our chicken, so I'm gonna skewer this up for her. And then when I plate it, I'm gonna chop up some romaine to do a little base with the tzatziki. And that's just gonna be the meal. So sit back, relax, and I'm just gonna get started. Mm. Honestly, raw chicken has never smelled so good. <laughs> this smells delicious. Why I like using metal skewers. Sometimes we use wood ones, or we were before we got these, but, but wood just burns on the grill. So if you are gonna use wood, then try to soak your skewers in like a tall glass of water for a good hour or so in advance so that they'll have some moisture 
and not burn as much. Why I like using Greek yogurt in my chicken marinade is just to really lock in that extra juiciness. We do that when we make um, like chicken tikka masala as well as we'll like marinate it in like a yogurt base and something about it just keeps it like juicy. Like when you want that juicy chicken. You totally don't have to grill your chicken for this. You don't have to make it into nuggets. You can do it in the oven, in the air fryer, on your stove top. So excited. Giselle picked out a fancy white wine for the occasion. So how I'm plating this, I'm gonna do the tzatziki on the bottom, I think. Just like a good layer. is a 2022 Rouvre <laughs> white wine and it's from the region of Touraine which is east of Paris mm -hmm. and a little um, just south of Reims where France. Oh, the Champagne region is yeah, I'm, uh, yeah Champagne. I'm familiar. So go ahead and try a little. If I don't like it can I send it back? It should be nice and bright and <laughs> sweet and dry. Wow, Long everything. finish. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa. All right, well, to the part that I made. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Do you like the chickpeas? I like the couscous. Mm. I like the couscous too. There you have it. <laughs> what you like versus what I do. I like it. All right, it is a new night. I have my co-chef with me here today. We have the washer drying, the, or wait. The <laughs> washer is drying. We have the washer going, the dryer going, and the dishwasher going, so there's lots of noises. Tonight, what is on the menu, Giselle? A pesto pasta with um, chicken. Chicken. Yeah, Giselle makes a really great homemade pesto. We're making it using pistachios. I like making like pesto egg toast in the morning. Wow, the dryer is really doing, going off, huh? But what else goes in it? Garlic, lemon, basil, parmesan. It's delicious. And so I was just looking for a vessel to eat it with tonight. We've been like dabbling in gluten-free. So we got these little egg fettuccine noodles that are gluten-free from Trader Joe's. And then I wanted some protein, because I feel like that's something, like chicken and pasta, I feel like it's kind of weird. Is that weird? I mean, it's just an American thing, I think. Yeah, I picture like going yeah. to Olive Garden and yeah, getting chicken, chicken off right yeah. But I just wanted some protein, so that's the meal. I'm gonna let Giselle take it away. Let's do the chicken first. Right, 
We are cooking the chicken on 350 for Giselle estimates around 40 minutes or so. She says that doing a lower temperature, because I feel like my default when I cook is always just to do the oven on like 425 or 450, but a lower temperature for longer, Giselle says will make it juicier. And she does make really like juicy, delicious chicken. And as you saw, we do not skimp on the seasoning either. salt yet until we are able to it's taste it. Salt and parmesan. Exactly. Yeah. Bit of salt now. Giselle always wings like everything she cooks, so you know, nothing is ever really the same, but it's a little on the lemony side, which we could counteract by going back and adding in, you know, more of all the other ingredients. So we would recommend less lemon juice. oven and we let it rest cover it in foil and now I chop it up how long did it rest for probably like 10 15 minutes and it was only in the oven for how long 30, 30 minutes? minutes yeah look at that mmm perfection put it on I was gonna throw it on there yeah separate it prettier than that red pepper I mean this isn't the prettiest we've done but <laughs> Maisel. Taste test time. Okay, well. <laughs> I know I can't I get it all. I didn't, I didn't cut mine. Ready? Mmm. 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 That's good. Good random craving. We've I never like made this before. Wow, oh, you guys. Okay. Chicken and pasta. <laughs> kitchen angle today. Today's dinner is a quickie. Tonight's meal is going to be the easiest one in this whole video, which is going to be making these Trader Joe's salmon, rice, and Brussels sprouts bowls. Always around this time of year, Trader Joe's comes out with these Brussels sprout saute kits. So it's just like shredded, or not shredded, like chopped up Brussels sprouts, chopped hazelnuts, shaved Parmesan, and then a lemon garlic vinaigrette. So if you live somewhere that does not have a Trader Joe's, you don't need this. This is just another way to like shortcut this lazy meal. This is actually just going to be a one sheet pan meal. So this is my salmon I got. You know, I really do. I want to like the wild caught kind. I've switched over. I've been buying that for years and nothing hits like the Atlantic farm raised. I'll be honest. So on my sheet pan, salmon, Brussels sprouts, going to do a little bit of seasoning and then to be even lazier, frozen rice going in the microwave. And then who needs a cutting board, right? Like Brussels kit. So if you do buy this exact little kit, um, it comes with this pouch that has Parmesan to top it as well as the vinaigrette and the hazelnuts. I'm just going to toast these up in the oven as well. And then all we're doing is ooh, some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder. And you know what? I'm only gonna season one side because I'm just feeling lazy. Same exact thing for the Brussels. I need two hands for the pepper, so I'll do that after, but garlic powder, and then just mix it all around. And then I'm cooking this in the oven on 425. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. I would guess this is probably gonna take 25-ish minutes. And so when it's getting towards the end of that, I'm gonna take my frozen rice, or you can make your own in a rice cooker or in a pot or whatever, but this just takes three minutes in the microwave. So I'm gonna make one pack of that, then I'll show you how I serve it. 
Did the Brussels get a little crispier than planned? You know, they did. So for plating this, I usually start out with rice. And I add my Brussels and I get my salmon. Looks like this so far. Then I go with the Parmesan on my Brussels. And then I put the vinaigrette on the Brussels as well as just lightly over the salmon. And then I really like this with sriracha if you're able to find it. I've been having to get mine from Amazon <laughs> these days. I'm gonna use sparingly. Serve with a little lemon wedge. I'm gonna add to the salmon as well. So we're having dinner in the living room as usual. Giselle is eating something else for the night. She is off screen <laughs> stage left. This is so good. You know what? Mmm. Oh my god. That's good. Mmm. You guys, make this. It is so easy. Off to watch some Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Welcome to a new day. This is gonna be the last meal in this video. I think this is gonna be a quick little segment in this video probably because we already showed you how we cook our chicken back in the pesto pasta recipe. So we have just cooked up some chicken and what the meal is going to be is a delicious kale salad. So that is all that's left to mix up. Um, we have a homemade dressing that's a like lemon tahini vinaigrette and then we are topping our kale with um, golden raisin, sunflower seeds, lots of Parmesan and is that it? Oh, sometimes we do toasted breadcrumbs. We have a new chef in the kitchen. Needless to say, this video has spanned longer than just one week, which is why I didn't call this a what I eat in a week video. Rather, these are just five meals we've cooked recently that I haven't shared before. So, Giselle, what's up first? I would make the dressing first, and then just, you gotta feel it out. So put a little olive oil in there. How much? Oh, that's good. And then you wanna get a spoonful of tahini. Spoonful of tahini. And then you wanna cut your lemon, so half a lemon. So, so far it's about a quarter cup of olive oil or a little bit less. You can kind of taste it like as we go with this um, to see what works for you. Last time we did it a little too lemony, so we're kind of scarred. So we're gonna try just one half for now. Where's the lemon squeezer? Ooh. Next, a little squeeze of honey. I want quite a bit actually. Oh, a big squeeze of honey. Garlic salt. Perfect. So that's the Nailed it. that's the ratio. Next up, essential step in any kale salad is massaging it. So pull back. Mm, maybe. Oh. Feel it out. Yeah, it feels like a lot. I wasn't. It does, it does I wasn't bit. thinking. I was just going. Well, I guess portion this to your liking. When you start massaging, it'll shrink down more. Yeah. And then they go through it. All right. So then all that is left to do is adding the topping. So I'm gonna add a good amount of sunflower seeds. These are. Roasted and salted. Also, how do you make breadcrumbs? Because we normally do have breadcrumbs, but again, we're hungry. We're we're just skipping that today. Take a slice of sourdough and blend it in the blender. So it's... Well, before you bake it. Before you bake it, yeah. No, oh, so you just blend a piece of bread like off your regular loaf of bread, and then uh, put. It, do you put olive oil on it or olive something? Olive oil, um, garlic, salt, and spread it out and toast it in the oven. And it's so good. So if I felt like that, I would do that. I wish we had all golden raisins. Golden berry blend. We're also throwing in some pistachios, just cause I'm gonna give these a rough chop. Next up is Parmesan. We normally just grate like from the block on here, but we happen to have some of this on hand that's already grated. I really like using the microplaner, is that what this is called? Microplaner. Um, microplane to get it all like super finely grated in there. Seasoning it, looks like salty, yummy. All right. We mix it all up. And then we are on to plating. Just for funsies, throwing in some fresh cracked black pepper and red chili flakes. We just put red pepper on everything. I don't think you like need to do that. Then we're going to chop our chicken. And that's going just on top of everything. Here is what she looks like. The dinner is served. 